I'm going to do the reveal in three, two, one. Hey team besties, welcome back to HDDC, HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and today I'm going to share with you my collection. If you are returning, hey what's good, what's happening, I hope you tickety boo. And if you're brand new here, thank you so much for, cl for clicking. <laughs> thank you so much for clicking on this video and giving this channel a chance. And if you're brand new here, I am a crochet designer. I am granny square obsessed and I have got three brand new, brand new items to show you today. Little bit of background information about my collection. Look at this in the shot, it should not be in this video. You have to come back to see that one. Um, little bit of background information. I designed a collection, my first ever collection last year. So this will be my second collection. I have got three items. I'm gonna go straight in with the third item that I designed. It's small but mighty. Get ready. I want to do like a cool transition but I'm not sure. Do I do a clap? Do I do a or do I do a whip or a okay I'm gonna do a click. <laughs> this is item one of my mini collection. The theme for this year is home, and so I am showing you, technically it's item three, but it's the first item I'm showing you. It's a key ring, a granny square key ring, so that when you are diving in your bag, you can find your keys at a glance, and you can make them in all different colors. So I have used double knit acrylic yarn, which I've used throughout the entire mini collection, um, and I have used, I've just, dove into my stash and picked colours so none of the colours are repeated on here other than the loop which is on that square as well um, and you can use any colour so if you want to match your car keys to the car paint if you want to match um, the front door key to the room to like the hallway or the back door key to the, whatever room that's in the kitchen in our case or you can just do what I do and go crazy with the colour. I have used this rose pink gold. Rose pink gold? Is that right? I have used rose gold um, hardware. So I got a set of these two clips from the works. And then that little loop there is to put your key on. And how cute is that? It can clip onto your bag can clip onto whatever you want it to clip onto or you can put the key directly on it. Super quick project. Um, it didn't take a whole lot of time to make. I did have to weave the ends in as I went along because it's all joined as you go so you don't have a chance to go back and do the ends that are on the inside. Other than that I wouldn't say it's tricky. If you've done join as you go before then You'll be fine. You'll be fine. So that's item number one, a key ring. As I said, this year's theme is home. Last year's theme was I Heart Granny Squares and I went all in and I did a skirt, I did a jumper, I did a bag, I did um, a blanket and a cushion. And I've mentioned in previous vlogs how much I learned in doing that. And I have also mentioned that I have taken a social media break of sorts from earlier this year up until now and I just knew that my resources were different and I've already touched upon this so I will link that video up above where I spoke about how my focus this year is home and so once I took that break all of the dots started to connect that my collection for this year should be on the theme of home and I had loads and loads and loads of ideas of projects, but I have decided to go with three and create a mini collection. Again, just to make it so that 
I had enough time and resources to create this collection. So I've got two more items to show you. I'm going to grab one now. You should be on your map, mister. Um, Albs has got, we put like blankets up there and the current one at the moment is bright pink and it wasn't quite working with my shot. So I've pushed it all over, hence why he's es escaping, not escaping, spreading out onto our throws. This is Albie Dog, in case you are unaware. He used to frequently appear, but I will say since I've become since I've become a mama, he appears less. He does appear less. So here's a little shot of Albie. I'm gonna get item two. This is item two. This is my granny square art. I actually made this item first, and so I learned quite a bit about it, which we'll go into. It is a panel of two round granny squares in the double knit acrylic, as I said. Um, and I have stash dived and just picked out all the colours that I enjoyed. Um, I have a method for picking out colours, which is in my granny square guide. And you can get the free version on my website, I'll link below. Or you can get the paid version if you want to support the channel. Um, and I'm really pleased with it. I got the boards from the works. Um, again, when I was looking for materials, I wanted stuff that I could get quite close from home, like local shops. I wanted to be able to just go in, get some bits, come back and make little items to put around our home. And I love how this looks on a picture ledge. I just, oh, it's so cute walking around and you've got little bits of granny squares dotted about. I made the panel, I steam blocked it, stretched it out, pinned it to dry and then I glued it onto the panel and I've got step-by-step -step instructions of how to do it in the pattern. I will say that because it was my first time doing it, you can see that that row is a little bit squiffy and what I realised was I was putting, I'd put glue down the entire side and the glue was drying too quickly and so after that I only did like two squares in length at a time and that just allowed me to make sure that it was all gonna you see like that one's much better but this one is skewiff yeah so that that would be my top tip is just to stick a little bit at a time so that's the granny square art this one was really enjoyable to make I made the panel um, over a couple of hours of like TV time um, and then once Teddy was napping I did the glue and there you go you've got an entire panel I'm really 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 considering making a giant one of these to go on our chimney breast and then maybe putting some sort of crocheted quote on there I think that could look amazing I also have the idea of potentially making it into a neon sign because I saw a TikTok or a reel where somebody made their own neon sign. I thought, how amazing would it be to have granny squares behind it and then a neon sign maybe with my logo or maybe because now my yarn room is down in our main living space, I would put like the tailors. And that idea is really on my mind, so... This is my granny square art. This is the key ring. I have the final item to share with you for my home granny square collection. <sighs> Are you ready? Because this one, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Make sure that you've got a crochet project handy and that you sat down and that you're comfy and then let me get the next one. Okay. Okay, this is item number three. <sighs> what can I say other than I was feeling super creative and inspired when I made this item? Get ready for the reveal. Three, two, one. <laughs> Did it. This is my granny square mirror. 
I was wandering around Ikea. I saw this mirror, £1.50, and I was like, I've seen photo frames covered in crochet. What about a mirror? And so I did this, and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm angling it in such a way so that I'm not exposing the state of the room behind the camera tripod. Um, where to start? The entire thing is covered in two round granny squares other than the front bit. And what I ended up doing is creating a cardboard um, frame, which I've painted white. And if you can see, there we go. I had to paint it white because the brown wasn't quite vibing. And then I have glued the frame. I've glued the granny squares onto the cardboard. I haven't actually glued it onto the mirror, so if needs be, I could get it off um, without damaging the mirror. So, what do you think? Please comment below with your favorite item so far. Is it the key ring? Is it the granny square art? Or is it the mirror? And then please tell me why it's your favorite. Maybe it's because it's the one you want to make the, the most. Like having this on my picture ledge. Let me show you. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Like when I walk in and I see it, I just get these little like sparks of joy because it's <sighs> having granny squares everywhere is magic. So ooh, I've revealed the collection information to share with you on this collection i am number one item one is that this collection will be launched on the 15th of august 2024 because that is granny square day and the three patterns will be in a mini collection so that you'll get all three when you purchase there'll be a discount code on the day i haven't quite decided on all the details but i will do an update the week that it goes out, if not the day it goes out. Other information to share. I don't like to say whether it's beginner or intermediate, I feel that that's uh, subjective, but I will say that with the Granny Square Guide, with the information that my testers are providing and all of the step-by-step -step photos that I have included, if you know how to make a Granny Square, then you will be able to make these three items. I have used double knit acrylic throughout. You can use whatever yarn and fiber you want um, as long as you get gauge. If you don't get gauge, then you need to get a bigger mirror, a smaller mirror, or make more or less squares. That's entirely up to you. So the collection is currently with my testers and everything seems to be going really well at the moment, which is really, 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 really enjoyable test to be a part of. I have seen other designers post details of items you need before the launch day so that you can get the items and get started so i'm thinking of doing that so if if that would be of interest to you then just let me know below that you'd like to order the items ahead of time because then you can get yourself the mirror and the key ring part and the canvas square ready so you can just jump in. You could make the key ring within an evening. You could make multiple of these within an evening. So, yeah. I did it. I did the collection. I'm so proud of myself. <sighs> did it. This collection embodies everything in my life currently. I know they are just three granny square designs, but they're also so much more than that. They are symbols of me reprioritizing my entire life and figuring out how to navigate life with a child in tow as a mama, a wife, it's, it is really working on ourselves. It was a really brave thing 
for me to say, you know what, I need to take a step back from everything and to give myself that space and to cancel my collection, the plans that I had for my collection. You can see my baby outside. And then out of that, this collection has been produced and I'm really proud of that. I can't wait to see you all make the items and I'm really looking forward to launch day as well. As soon as I've got some images from my testers, I will also start to share them. And I'd also like to take a minute to share the comment of the week below. And I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching and for being supportive, for all of the messages you send, the comments you leave, all of that stuff. And I'll speak to you soon. Right, I'm going to do that reveal again. Get ready for the reveal in three, two, one. Sneak! How am I going to do it without showing you something you shouldn't see? If I do it this way, what can you see? The mess of the room. <laughs> right. Three, two, one. <laughs> you can see yourself. Oh, there we go. And here it is, my granny square mirror. There's uh, Teddy's abandoned pyjamas from this morning. Oh dear. I don't know how I'm supposed to get a decent shot without showing you the whole world. <laughs> on three, I'm going to do the reveal. Three, two, one. <laughs> this mirror is showing all of the things behind the camera that I was trying to hide. <laughs> anyway, say hi to yourself. Wait, where is it? Say hi. I designed a granny square mirror and it is the most amazing thing. Oh, I keep flashing something I shouldn't be. Anyway, this is the granny square mirror. That's a good shot. Why did I not do the reveal like that? Okay, let's do this again. I'm gonna do the reveal in three, two, one. <laughs> Did it.